Hey everyone. Okay, so I've been sitting here for the last hour trying to figure out sizing and logistics on the new um, banner images for Dubsado. So um, I wanted to do a quick how-to tutorial video as well as link up my uh, templates to use for it in case anyone else is really wanting to. So the big question that a lot of people have is they want to be able to make their logo image bigger and they want it to be more prominent um, in their banner. But there's a few things just from me playing around that I noticed that you have to really do sort of a workaround for that because if you have no image specified for your client portal, it's going to automatically put the one that is your account image up there. So it won't leave it blank or empty. Um, so if you try and put like an image over there or a logo over on that side of your, your template that you're uploading, then it's just going to show like your logo over it. And it's going to be like this layered image and it when it looks really bad. So, um, and the other thing to keep in mind too is like this, this text that's in your portal you can customize that text, but if you leave it empty, again, it's gonna default. Now you can put like a period there and then it'll just show a period, but um, yeah, like you have to be aware, like those things are going to be there no matter what. So how do we work around that to make your image bigger? Um, so for one, welcome to the client portal of the Sato. And I did add my branding colors to this screen. Um, so that's where like this blue comes from. Normally I think this is gray. Um, and then this is my logo that's in Dubsado and then just a simple welcome message. So this is what I created out of the templates. So I have it to where um, it still has that same welcome message, but I put my logo as this little swoosh just so that there is something here. Um, and then over on the right, I made my logo to where it still is above the log out button. And it just shows my, my branding color. Now I didn't change the tabs on this screen. Like I could have branded these to my branding colors, um, but I didn't quite get there. So this was just after me messing around for a while and seeing um, all the different features of the templates um, and how to get it into Dubsado. So what I did to create this, um, and I'll have this link below in the description so that if you want to copy it and save it for yourself, you can. Um, is I went over here to Canva and Canva you can have a totally free account or you can pay for Canva for work which the big benefit of Canva for work is you can um, add your own branding colors and branding text and there's like this magic resize button but I got away for several months by just using the free version so um, yeah like you can totally use free and I went to create a design and then I put in my custom dimensions, which the dimensions are 1800 by 200. So I did custom dimensions, 1800 by 200. And then it goes in and creates it. So now with this one, you can choose different layouts. These are all if you're doing um, images or you can add in your images this way. You can use their free stock photos. You can add in shapes. Um, you can add in your text. Like you can really do whatever you want. You could add in backgrounds, change the background color. Um, so yeah, like there, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do here. Um, I have images that I've already uploaded that um, I could definitely utilize. Um, through things that I've done or throw in like my flower. So yeah, like there's a bunch of things. Um, now the templates that I created, let's see this was me messing around. Um, these are the templates that I'm gonna show below. So I have my little swoosh and you could totally change this out and make it a line or make it some other thing or an arrow, whatever you wanna go there. Um, you could potentially even do text, like make two lines of text, so maybe this says welcome to, and then it says your client portal, um, however you wanna do it, but you do need to have something as your client portal logo, so that then on the other side, you could then have this image as 
the the banner. Um, so I'm just going to show you what that looks like and how I installed it on Dubsado. Um, so let me close down a couple of screens here. So this is my Dubsado brand settings, and you get to it by clicking on your logo and going to current brand settings. Um, and then you scroll down. Sorry, I just sneezed for a minute, so I muted my mic. Um, so you scroll down, and here's all the different colors. So these colors coordinate to the different header bars and the text color. So you can literally like, change these to whatever you want them to be. This is that portal message. So the welcome to your client portal, that is this welcome to the client portal message. Um, I'm gonna actually do dual screen here. This would probably be a lot easier to see if I do it this way. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so you have your banner color, which would normally be this part up here. You have your banner font, so that's this. Your summary heading, header color, which these are your summaries. So this is the black header. Header font is white, so I could change these to be whatever I want. Welcome to a client portal is this message. That's the one that I was saying. If I delete this out, see it says your client portal with the Sato client test, the Sato client test, like that's going to show up now. Um, so you have to have something here. You just need to be creative about what that is so that it doesn't rock the aesthetic of your design for your banner. Um, uploading your portal logo. So this is where I use that little swoosh. Um, and you just click this file button and you choose the file. So I chose the swoosh and then it, it uploaded. Same thing with the upload portal banner. So I had the one where the logo is offset to the right. I uploaded that and then I click save and it's on my client portal. Now, say that I have a client and I want to do something completely different for that client. You don't go in the laser jobs, you go in the address book. Um, and then you go to the client. So I'm going to use my client Mickey Mouse, which is my test in here. Um, and then you will do upload banner. And let's go with this one. Okay, so it uploads. Now you'll notice there is no save button here. There also isn't a way to edit this message or edit this logo. So this is going to stay the same. Um, it's only overriding the banner itself and not the logo and things that are in there. So again, that's where placing these strategically is going to come into play. So now if I refresh, now it has this image. So it just has a stock photo just to make it look a little savvy. So if you have like branding images, so like I have some branding photos that I had done a while back. Um, so let me add that. One second, I might have to refresh. I'll just be able to refresh. So a moment while it comes back. So then you do, I do this one. Again, you want to make sure everything's towards the right, justified, at least for um, the design that I created. And then refresh my portal page, and it's now in there. Um, so you just have to make sure that you're staying clear of this logout button and that everything over there still looks good. So um, those are the templates I created. They are in Canva. Canva is super easy to use. Um, so say on these templates that I gave you guys, if you you want to change this to your branding color, you can change your branding color. You can change out the logos and the text and however you want to do this. Um, it is totally up to you.
Um, so I am going to save these um, down below, and then I'm just going to show you really quickly when you open this. Um, this is still linked to my account, so you would go file, make a copy, and then it copies it to your account. So if I did that right now, I'd go file, make a copy, and it's going to say copy of. So this is where you would rename it and save it, and then it's in your account. You can then edit it freely and do how you want to do it. Um, but make sure you're not editing the main file that you're actually coming over and pressing copy. Um, so that is how that is done. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Again, the links will be in the description. Um, otherwise, have a great day.